All right, good morning guys and welcome back to another video today. So we we have, I, I think it's super exciting. We have a dozen live croakers to fish with today. I went ahead and grabbed them at the tackle shop. Now the thing about croakers is they're pretty dang expensive. I feel like they've gotta be one of the most expensive things you can use for bait. Um, they were, I think 250 for one single croaker or $24 a dozen. So I grabbed a dozen. So each croaker we go through today is, is $2. So. Um, pretty expensive fishing day but the good thing about croakers is snook absolutely love them they are like a dessert like a candy for a snook and hopefully those uh, giant snook that hang around around docks and uh, flats will just absolutely just destroy them today and uh, hopefully we'll catch a bunch of fish and well we're gonna be fishing with uh, we'll fish with this today my heavy setup this is the 5500 spin fisher fished on my 7.6 JM heavy rod. You guys can grab this in the description. It is an awesome rod. Um, we're gonna be fishing 50 pound, or I'm sorry, 40 pound braid and then 60 pound monofilament leader right here. So we're gonna be fishing heavy tackle. Hopefully we'll be able to pull them out of docks really well. And uh, I just wanted to cover something in my last video that I, I remember someone asked a question about. Someone said like, why don't you just do this to help catch fish or so, something along the lines of that. And uh, I just wanted to point out that a lot of times when you're fishing heavy tackle in a boat as light as this, um, if you lock down your drag and try to pull a fish towards you or bring them to the boat, a lot of times you will literally just bring the boat to the fish. Um, they can, especially giant snook, they will pull the boat around. And I think that's what's so so difficult about catching giant fish out of my boat is they they'll, they'll, they'll they will literally pull the boat around and pull you into the structure. So you see me a lot of times struggling, trying to grab the trolling motor, pulling as hard as I can, doing all sorts of things, maybe navigating around poles and stuff. Um, but that's just how it goes. But other than that, we're just gonna hop into the video right now and enjoy the video guys, let's go. All right, so here we go. We got our croaker here. Um, I know two ways you can rig them through the nose and then through the uh, tail right through there. I think I'm gonna start off with just a nose rig, just like that. Hopefully that'll get it done. And uh, let's find a massive freaking snook. All right, we're on something huge. Jesus. Something smoked him under the dock. Kinda of feels like a jack, but I don't know. <sighs> Holy crap. All right, so first fish of the day is a meaty like 10, 12 pound jack right there. Absolutely murdered the croaker underneath that dock. I thought I was about to have like a 45 inch snook there, but $2 croaker gone, but keep going. Look for a big snook and let's uh, let this guy go. Huge snook under this dock. my fault. Well, that was a 40 plus inch snook there that just engulfed the croaker right at my feet. <sighs> Big snook on. Bumped the croaker. Tangled up in this dock though. I'm gonna have to weed him out of here. Feel him on there. Yeah, he's over he's over there. Big snook. Hopefully he doesn't. <sighs> that all happened really fast. Should be still on there. He's probably sitting under the dock. Got my bail wide open right now. Yeah, he's still on there. He's on the other side of this dock. I think I can get him. I gotta pull my camera off the back though. Open up the bale really quickly. Run over here, take the camera off. 
Oh crap. Oh. He is way out over here. And I I'd be able to slide through this dock here. Went all the way right here. He's here somewhere. Yep, now he's under that dock. God dang! Yep, still on there, still on there, still on there. Just need to get him into open water. He just took off in between so many docks. Bale's open, fish is still on there. Oh man. I think I got her now. Couldn't fit under these kayaks right here. Oh, she's still on there. No, 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 no. Giant. Holy crap. Holy crap. Give me that head, girl. Holy. Come here. Holy Oh my God. Mega crust croaker. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pull up to this dock over here because it's an abandoned house and we'll get a measure. Holy giant snook here. Keeping her in the water right here until we can, uh, I'm gonna pull up to this low dock right here and we'll get a measure on her and then uh, release her. But holy all right, real quick, guys. We're gonna get a measure on that snook, then release. We'll lay that right there. That should be good. Put her head right there on zero. Pull this back. So close to 40. So close to 40. 38 and a half inch snook right there. Oh my gosh. All right, how about that, guys? I think, I think she was about 39. Um, ew, I just got something in my mouth. Giant snook right there. Absolute beast cranked the croaker under that dock and then freaking circus from there. Chasing that fish all through the docks. Pretty much put no pressure on until the end, but beast, guys, let's go. Let's get a release. <gasps> All right, you can see that 60 pound got really close to breaking right there. Hooked right in the top of the lip. That was perfect. Check that out. Behemoth. Behemoth. It was about 39 right on the dot. If I measured right, I kind of couldn't really tell. I didn't have a good surface to measure on, but holy crap, dog. Whew. Holy crap. Fish right here. Holy. Monster trout, monster, monster, M monster, monster. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just turned around and ate that. Oh my gosh. This trout, I thought was I thought it was a uh, freaking redfish. It was a giant trout. <sighs> Dude, I could feel it. Stuff was about to go down. Holy crap. This is the biggest trout of my life, if I can get a hand on him here. Smoke the croaker. Let me get out here.
when I tell you he spooked and then went a foot past the croaker, oh my gosh. He went straight a foot past the croaker, then made a U-turn on it and just inhaled it. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my gosh. Well, that's a new personal best sea trout right there. Probably, uh, I'll measure here real quickly. Um, but these guys are very delicate. We want to get them back in the water quickly. I'm going to guess this guy's 28, 29 inches. Absolute giant. Probably six, seven pound trout. Inhaled the croaker. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. These guys are super, super delicate. So we're going to go for a quick measure as fast as possible on the sea deck ruler. Tails. Tails on Z. Yeah, tails on zero right there, all the way to about 27 and a half. <sighs> all right, and quickly right back into the water. Oh my gosh, dude. Gotta get this guy unhooked. <sighs> that was insane. That was insane. All right, so when you handle these giant trout, you always wanna have, or trout in general, you wanna have wet hands, but this guy's ready to go. We really didn't take him out of the water. You ready, bud? Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Biggest trout of my life right there on a live croaker. And I could just feel something was going to happen. I almost said it, but I, I just kept it in my head because I just didn't want to jinx it. I could tell immediately under the first dock I checked right there, fish were floating and the water was clearer than it was uh, real early this morning when I checked the same same dock. And uh, the sheep's head were all over the place, snook were all over the place um, in the shadows right there and I knew I was gonna get an eat. And, but I was not expecting a freaking trout that big. I thought it was a redfish when I first saw it and it, it absolutely not a redfish. <laughs> Maze trout of my life, let's go guys. So it came out of nowhere. <sighs> Couldn't lock down that drag anymore. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what a giant. Oh. Check this out, guys. Oh, he's way bigger than I thought. I'm gonna steer him in here a little bit. Head in shallow here. Holy crap. All right, she's just cruising next to the boat here. <laughs> Giant fish. I'm gonna take her in shallow, and then we can get a good measure on her and then a good release. Whew. There we go, boys. Second giant of the day. I left the ruler out. I left the ruler out for one reason, because I knew it was gonna happen. Here, let's show these guys. Yup. <laughs> the guys working on the house were like, hold him up. All right, we'll go for a quick, quick measure here. I think she's about the same size as the last one. 
Got zero on that side all the way to, oh, just kidding. 41, baby. Beautiful snug. Let's get a release. Let's go, guys. All right, big girl. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth there. Let's see, she's tangled up here. Second giant snook of the day right there. Insane, guys. Insane. Croaker bite is on. Check out that giant mouth. All right, well, we'll send her on our way here. Oop, she's ready to go. Didn't really take her out of the water. Oop, she's going. She's going. Oop. Let's go, boys. All right, guys, that has got to be the absolute best day of fishing I've ever had in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, and croakers, man, they absolutely killed them. I think I only have, I think I got two or three left. So unfortunately, I, uh, I got to let those guys go. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to check out the rod I used in today's video, which was this Calusa Custom Rods JM Edition heavy rod, you guys can check that out. Link in the description. Um, it's an absolute beast. I whooped that 41 with it uh, today. And the spin fisher did work too so if you guys are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and other than that i will see you guys in that next video see you guys